And you're going to learn more about the good things happening in West Point, Mississippi at Sally Kate Winters Family Services. They're an organization that helps children impacted by child abuse, neglect, family violence, and homelessness. Yes, those are some tough topics, but there's some good light being shined on it as April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. And we're kicking it off today with Mississippi's First Lady, Ely Reeves. Hey, Miss Reeves. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? I'm not going to complain. It is a beautiful day in West Point. There's no alert day in the forecast for Mississippi this week, so things are looking up. That's great. I hate that I can't be there with you all today, but I'm super excited to be able to join you all remotely. Well, I love, Ely, how you got connected with uh, Sally Kate Winners Family Services. So share with us who introduced you to the great work that they're doing here. Okay, so... A good friend of ours, Scott Reed, um, serves as board president this year, and so he's kind of been sharing with us all of the good work that the Sally Kate Winters Family Services does um, throughout Mississippi. And I don't know if y'all remember, but um, in 2020, for our first Christmas at the mansion, we put out a call for um, florists and decorators to submit proposals for our Christmas decorations, and Scott um, Reed submitted one and we loved him and we just have become fast friends ever since so I'm thrilled to be here with you today. Well I'm thrilled to be here because there are so many good things going on here but also in my hand Ely is I have Fred the turtle and if folks are watching over at supertalktv.com I'm holding it up and it's a wonderful children's coloring book with a really cute turtle on the front and this is one of your personal initiatives so how did Fred the turtle get started? Well, um, several months ago, my team and I been, started collaborating on what our next initiative should be, and we wanted to make a positive impact on the children in our state. And so one of the, one of the ideas that was proposed was to create um, a coloring activity book for Mississippi students. And um, early in the planning stages, we met with the Casey Foundation and discovered they have a grant program for first ladies across the nation. And so we uh, chatted with them about our ideas on Fred the Turtle, and um, he just grew from there. So I love the backstory, though, of how Fred got his name. We've been looking through the coloring book here, Ely, and we've fallen in love with the adventures that Fred has gone on from the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. But how did Fred get, get its name? Okay, so when I was little, I had an imaginary friend named Fred. So, of course, when I went, you know, that coloring activity book talks about friendships and gets kids to actually think outside of the box and in ways that, like, they can make a positive impact and, and also thinking about people that made positive impacts on their lives. And, of course, it all comes back to friendships, and that's kind of why we decided to name Fred Fred. And then um, the story actually is about um, a turtle from the Gulf Coast that gets caught in a fisherman's net, and the fisherman's name is Fisherman Jimmy, and that is named after my dad, who is a big fisherman on the coast. Well, I love that personal touch, and I have to say that myself, like so many others, I didn't have a turtle named Fred, but I did have a turtle named Sam Jr., and I think many of us connect with that being like one of our first pets that we find in our backyard. Now, I know there's a lot of, you know, you shoulds or shouldn't do's around uh, box turtles versus snapping turtles or whatever, but if you did or do have a pet turtle at home, uh, you just really connect with how kids connect with such a, you know, um, a innocent, I guess, character as well as a charming one as well. I also love that there's a lot of problem solving in here, Ely. Um, who did you work with or going through to make sure that this stimulated their brain as well as their creative um, artistic ability? Yeah, well, we, um, we worked with uh, CPS here in town and also with the Department of Education. And we worked with the Hope Institute as well. And so really with those three different organizations, they were – they, I mean, they were instrumental in coming up with, you know, all the different thought-provoking questions and the activities and the, the maze with the airplanes. Um, so, you know, they were able to help us kind of just take it to a whole different level when, than just a fun story. Well, I know that there have been, I think, 2,000 Mississippi's Fred the Turtle that has been printed. So if we're listening to good things and we think, man, that'd be so great for our kids or maybe our grandchildren. Ely, where, where were those first 2,000 uh, distributed? So we talked to the Department of Education on um, the different, you know, we're focusing on fourth graders right now. Just a thought was that, you know, they've got the reading skills in place to actually 
really take these engaging and thought-provoking conversations to the next level to help them build that critical child development and problem-solving skills. And so we first identified um, five different school districts that we wanted to focus on, and that's where we came up with the, the initial 2,000 that we printed. And my hope is that we will end up going statewide. But um, right now we actually visited Kemper County um, a week and a half ago, and then we go to Natchez next week, and then we roll out into Jefferson County, South Delta, and Claiborne. But um, again, I'm hoping to go statewide. I know we've got some partnerships um, coming on board. So we're just looking to identify other like funding sources in order to get more books in the hands of kids across the state. Well, I think it's a cool thing. And so if your kids come home with it, just know it's got a lovely story. Or if they interact with uh, Fred the turtle, I think they're going to be seeing more of it. I have a fourth grader, Ely, so um, I think that it's right on point and it's super, it's super exciting. Plus all the good work that's been going on on the Mississippi Gulf Coast as they as they have helped um, the endangered turtles. We've talked about that here too of the of the release of those. But I want to go back to what brings you here today. I mean, we are here in West Point for the Sally Kate Winters Family Services. Your good friend Scott Reed. Um, introduced you uh, to what they're doing and when you hear about programs that are helping with child abuse neglect family violence you know these are strong topics but what does it mean to you and governor that there are people with their boots on the ground helping these families and children across the state well I think boots on the ground is the perfect adjective to to talk about the Sally Kate winners family services I mean you know, we can all talk a lot, but I think actually when you've got people on the ground doing the services that are needed across the state, I mean, that that's just priceless. And, you know, what they're doing in West Point is amazing. And Scott Reed is actually taking some of our Fred the Turtle books over to them. So I'm very excited that he's able to distribute those for the, the kids that they have um, that they're helping right now. Well, there's definitely a lot of good stuff going on here. Ely, anytime you get the chance to stop by, you'll get to take a tour. We're going to learn so much more about all the programs they have. But I'm going to steal this, Fred. Ely, it's going to my fourth grader, and I'm not ashamed of it. But <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, we look forward to having you back at any time, and thank you for your time today on Good Things. Thanks, Rebecca. All righty, that's what you heard, your first lady, Miss Ely Reeves, and her support here for Sally Kate Winters Family Services and all the good work that they are doing, not just with the Fred the Turtle Initiative.